<laughs> hey, we are the Campalorians. I am Michael. I'm Julio. And I'm Nate. And today we are going to do, what are we going to do? I don't know. What something. Uh, propane something. Propane so. something. We're doing a propane. We are talking about Quick Connect for your propane system utilizing the regulator that's already on your trailer. We're going to make it super easy. We've got all the parts laid out for you. We're going to tell you how to do it step by step. All the parts will be linked below. Subscribe, like, hit the bell, do all those things. Keep us bringing you more content. Get it. Perfect. Get it done. So, if you have an Intec flyer, you're familiar with this slide out. Especially here where you have to have the one pound propane bottles. This is really annoying for us, simply because we have big tanks, we cook a lot, we have other propane devices. So what we're trying to do here is find a way to have quick connects for all of our other devices, but include this slide as well without having to go all the way through here and uh, you know drill holes into our trailer. So step one is to actually take this cabinet face off. Now what's interesting is there's actually a full regulator behind here and it's only held in by two screws. And here is your regulator. And what we're gonna do is take this off and we're gonna mount it on our tongue box. Right, quick tip, when you're taking this out, you may get stuck on these little things. So what I ended up doing was pushing it inside and rotating it, which is why you see that nice little pattern in there. And that helps it come out. Otherwise you're gonna be just pushing it hard. So once you get the regulator off of this cabinet here, you'll notice it's not gonna come out. And what we're gonna have to do is actually twist it, um, use some wrenches here and twist this off to separate this piece from here or this piece from here to pull this completely out. either put this back in or what I did is just left mine completely out because now I have all this room to uh, store stuff in. So now we're going to install this extension hose onto the, the, the hose for the stove and we're going to run it up under and put a quick connect mill fitting on this hose sitting under here. So when we have a regulator over here all we have to do is one quick connect over and our stove will be uh, working again. So these regulators uh, have a sealant all over them and you can see it gets all over your hands. We've cleaned this up uh, with a, just a paper towel comes right off, but we're going to reuse this elbow that we just pulled off this regulator. This end here is going to go in here and then this will go on here. This is what we'll connect our hose to, just like this after we put thread tape all over uh, everything. Thread tape is yellow. It's specifically designed for uh, for gas. And what we're gonna do is just pull off a little section and we're going to thread it around and try to stay at least one thread away from the end so it doesn't uh, bind and get in there. And this stuff stretches pretty easily. I'm just gonna thread it around. And we'll do this to this side as well and all the other um, mail ends. So we'll do it on this one as well. Now it's time to snake our uh, our hose through. Here's our quick connect end. Here's the end of our hose. This is a male end. This is a male end. 
So we're gonna need to use a female to female um, adapter and this adapter comes with uh, this kit that's, uh, that's linked here. All right, so now with our hose, we're going to just basically run it through, through the divider. And then we're just going to set these adapters here behind here. And we're just gonna loop this up to take off a little bit of this slack. And then we're gonna push this end through this grommet here. So underneath your slide, you have all these uh, cable management clips. And all we're going to do is just use them to connect your hose here, leaving your end exposed just like this up in here. So now all you're gonna have to do is bring your cable over and hook it over. So your regulator, the skinny side, this is your high pressure side, which comes from your tank. This is your low pressure side that's gonna go to all of our devices. So the first thing we're gonna do here is add this uh, stainless steel braided um, uh, hose connect with a um, um, thing to tell you pressure how gauge. much yeah pressure gauge to tell you how much gas you have that is going to go how much gas do you have nathan quite a bit sometimes <laughs> this is just going to go right in here to the quarter inch side this side is quarter inch by the way this side is three eighths and it does say on the back in in out in and then there's an arrow to show you the, the flow of uh gas so on the low pressure side, we're actually going to take this uh, um, female quick connect with a shutoff valve on it. And this is so we can shut it off at this source of when we need to change things or change uh, uh, appliances around. And you're going to need for this, you're gonna need this 3 8 uh, male to uh, quarter inch female adapter. And then you're gonna need this quarter inch male to male adapter and the quick connect. Is to make sure that this side ends up on the same side as the top of your regulator so you can actually Open use it. Off. Once it's rotated away for safety reasons, really, just tighten it up to yeah, keep the, it from turning. The trick is you don't want somebody to walk by and actually hit uh, the valve here and break it or cause it to you know, come loose and it, the valve's on and you leaking gas everywhere. We're just gonna put it on right now just to kind of test placement and where we want it. And what we're gonna do be probably something like this we're gonna take a pen and mark these holes and then we're gonna drill them we'll put some bolts through So now that we're all done, we check for leaks and did all the fun stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how we use it when whenever we need to use the stuff. Get to the template, unlock it of course, open it up. And uh, I have the holes I'm gonna be using. And the first thing I do is put the safety, um, what do you call this thing? Valve. The valve, thank you. Uh, put it on there. Pull off the cap. Pull up the cap, pull up this cap, connect it to the quick connect, it's tight. And then I just come here underneath and I have my other one waiting for me. I still have this valve on as well. And now I can turn it on. I can turn it on. And yes. I can... So the propane turned on? Oh yeah, that would get it. Propane. Uh, I always have to check what side is which side. All right, so and he even has a gauge to show how much gas is in this tank. Yeah, so it should be good there. Full of gas, and <laughs> <laughs> let's just go. And then we just go put it on here. And then we 
and there's gas. Time for bacon. Bacon! Now for the black zone. This is what comes with the black zone. It's my regulator, the little adapter. I replace it with this component, also in the links. And this is what from now on is gonna stay here. It's already low pressure, so I don't need this regulator. For in order to be able to use multiple devices, we put in this T. And this is the one that I show you guys how to connect, except that instead of coming from here, it comes from there. I use this one for my uh, black zone. And the third one I use for my uh, Juca water heater. But this is why we did this whole project, so I don't have to be moving things back and forth. I run it through here so that the dog doesn't get, you know, cut through this uh, hose. Oh, there you go. Ta -da. Turn on the valve, and we're good. Now we can have both devices. All right, one more tip. Uh, keep this with you in case you want to use the Blackstone somewhere else, like with a one pound bottle. One pound bottle. You want to keep it with you, keep it in the sandbox. You never know. We hey, we what? <laughs> yeah, we gotta be this close. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's B-roll right yeah, there. Yeah, so I hope that was useful, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please like the video. Please subscribe, and please hit the bell to be notified when we have new content. This helps us out and helps us bring more content to you. Thanks. See you next time.